Hello. Today we'll be discussing oxytocin and its role in labour and birth. For the first time in history, most women are giving birth without releasing a natural cocktail of hormones. Instead, they're being given a synthetic oxytocin instead of releasing the natural hormone themselves. What does this mean for you? Firstly, we need to understand oxytocin. The central nervous system um, is the brain and spinal cord and is made up of nerve cells called neurons which send and receive signals. Then there's the peripheral nervous system which is nerves that run from the skin, muscles and organs and send um, messages through the nerves back to the central nervous system. Um, the hypothalamus area of the brain regulates the organs and skin and stuff <laughs> um, through sending signals through the nerve cells and by getting glands and organs and cells to release hormones into the blood and communicating with the body from there. Oxytocin is made in the hypothalamus and is sent to the pituitary gland and sent into the blood from there. Oxytocin almost always works in conjunction with other hormones, um, for instance stress hormones like um, dynorphine and adrenaline, they block production and stop it working, where um, oestrogen and serotonin and dopamine um, help um, create more oxytocin. The other hormone that helps oxytocin production is oxytocin itself. Unlike most cells which um, block their own production of hormones and secretions when their levels reach a certain level in the blood, um, oxytocin cells have oxytocin, oxytocin producing cells have oxytocin receptors so when they come into contact with oxytocin start producing even more oxytocin. <clears throat> oh. So what does oxytocin actually do? Oxytocin contracts the muscles um, in labour and birth and I can show you. This is a baby. Baby, it, um, oxytocin is released into the blood. This contracts the myometrium which is the muscle layer of the womb and pulls it up. It gathers at the top and pushes baby down. The sensation of the baby hitting here sends a message to the hypothalamus to create more oxytocin. More oxytocin is sent into the blood, um, contracts the womb, pushes the baby down, baby's head pushes along here which sends a signal back up to create more oxytocin. This is known as the positive feedback loop. It just makes more and more and if you remember there are other cells in the body which also produce oxytocin and react to finding oxytocin in the blood. So you create loads and loads and loads and loads of oxytocin. The other thing oxytocin does is, um, as it reacts with other hormones, is it reduces your perception of pain. It helps you heal, um, rejuvenating mucous membranes and creating anti-inflammatory effects, which is very important post-birth. It uh, relaxes you, has anti-anxiety effects, increases trustworthiness, um, calms you, it creates nurturing behaviours and uh, helps you want to, makes you want to care for other people. Uh, very, very important in mother baby bonding. And the other thing it does is it improves social memory. So people you meet whilst oxytocin high, not only do you remember them better, but you prefer them to other people. It's extremely important in uh, mother baby bonding. So not only are your contractions powerful and efficient, they are less painful. <laughs> Um, very much, much more effective and create more and more effective the more oxytocin you create. Um, there, um, you heal better after birth. You can fall in your love with your baby even more if you're oxytocin drunk and you feel ang no anxiety and you feel calm. So what can you do to increase the oxytocin? So it's created in the environment which it creates itself. So if you're calm and you feel safe um, and you feel loved, then you will start producing oxytocin. So for many pregnant women, being low lit settings in places that they feel safe in, that smell good um, and smell familiar are very important. So for many women, being at home is the absolute best place they could be um, in labour to get those oxytocin levels up. Um, so if you are in labour and that's you, then please stay at home and by all means have a home birth. Nothing will give you more oxytocin higher than that. For other women, they need to know health professionals are right around every corner. So a hospital is where they'll feel most safe. Um, but still, have low lit rooms, have music that you like, have smells that you like. Water is amazing. The other thing that creates oxytocin is touch. So massage is extremely important. 
um, being very close with people you love. Sensual stimulation can really, really help to release oxytocin. It's known as the love hormone because it's in every facet of human love. Um, although released with different ox different other hormones, so all the loves are different. Um, one of the biggest things you can do is have the best people around you. There was a study done that showed that having a doula in the room meant that you have 50% less likely to need a hospital intervention. This is almost completely due to the fact the oxytocin in the room was higher because the women felt safer and, and more secure. Um, so they were much a more able to have effective labours. So whichever you choose for your labour, I hope that it's oxytocin high and I hope it's the one that you want. Thank you very much.